This book by B.J. Novak is a hit every year at our annual grandpa's camp. This is the book with no pictures by Doug Andrew. Sherry, my wife and I have been married now for more than 48 years. We have six children and 20 grandchildren. Sherry and I have uh, spent numerous hours, thousands of hours a year mentoring many troubled youth at crisis centers. And we've also helped many children who are taken out of abusive situations at the Christmas box. And when we go there to visit, one of the biggest hits is when I read them the book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. So I'm going to read it to you here in just a moment. But I mentioned Grandpa's Camp. With our family, uh, eight years ago, we started a tradition that we will never stop. It's called Grandpa's Camp. And this is where we gather every year for a week with our grandchildren. Now, the 12 year old and older come for the first four days and we do high adventure, hot air ballooning and, and hiking and we talk teenage talk and we teach them principles like how to be responsible and accountable that unfortunately a lot of those colleges and universities are not effectively teaching. And then the four to 11 year olds come for the next two days and we do all kinds of fun activities. We ride four wheelers, we hike, we play uh, uh, golf frisbee, and uh, we have water balloon contests. But the children, because we have a theme, they will teach a lesson and also uh, have a hobby or a craft. And we just have an incredible time. But now every single year, they insist that grandpa, Doug reads them the book with no pictures. So this is the book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except this is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Blork! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blork! Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And now I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh. <gasps> I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza? Is this whole book a trick? Wait a second. Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? 
Do I really have to sing? You don't want to hear this. <clears throat> glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. Maybe that's why they call me Doug the Bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. Oh, what? You can tell I am not a singer. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever? in the history of the entire world? Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid because this kid chose this book even though it has no pictures? Because kids know that this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. Uh-oh. And make silly sounds. Oh no. Oh no. Here it comes. Clergawako, my grump adu, ay ay ay, brug, 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 oomp, oomp, bloggity bloggity, glibbity globbity, glibbity glibbity, beep boop. Badunji face. Oh my goodness. I'm sweating. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it's completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, Please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please? Because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk! I didn't want to say that.